Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to Viewer Emails. Viewer Emails. And uh, this is the 1st of October and uh, the mailbag's full. I had a bit of a dry patch there, but uh, I've been doing some Google Analytics and uh, you fuckers really like Viewer Emails. So I'm going to try my best to get more content to you. And uh, remember, if you've got a question for Archie, please send it to archieluxury72 at gmail.com. And in the uh, the title line, please put their viewer emails. That way I'll make sure it gets sorted into the right folder. And uh, before we start viewer emails, I just wanted to, to add a small note there. Uh, uh, my, my good friend, Passion Fingers. Passion Fingers, everything he touch, everything he touches, he fucks up. He, uh, I noticed a comment he put there about a deal. I bought an Amiga Man on the Moon from Chumley. I don't fucking look like Chumley! And when I found out, blah, 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 I couldn't get rid of it fast enough. Lost 500. And still haven't got the money back yet, or I could have sold it outright to Armadale Watch Gallery, Gallery and drop a thousand dollars. Great deal, Archie. Yeah, Passion Fingers. I mean, you couldn't fucking sell that shit to Dennis Elm. You fucked that deal up. You fucked up the deal with that Dennis Elm. I couldn't expect you, Passion Fingers, to fucking be able to handle the sale of a beautiful wristwatch without losing money. Of course. It's fucking you! And, uh, you know, I sold this watch to Passion Fingers. Listen to this. I sold it to him for 2500 bucks. It's an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. 2500 Aussie dollars. The Aussie's tanking. Sold it to him at cost. It, uh, originally I sold it to Greg Kinder for 2250 And Greg Kinder got it serviced by probably the greatest watchmaker in Australia, Paul Heath, in uh, in Sydney. That was 200 and... I think it was 270 But anyhow, I sold it to, to Fuck Knuckle for $2,500, right? Fully serviced, new-style new Omega Speedmaster bracelet, beautiful piece, extra links, everything. Absolutely, you know, bee's knees of Speedmasters. And... Of course he fucked it up. I mean, he couldn't do the deal with Dennis Elm. How could I expect him to fucking handle a simple deal like this? And, um... Just a complete fucking moron. I mean, I offered you, Passion Fingers, your money back. I said, send it to me. I'll organise your money back. And, uh... Actually, Greg Kinder's on the... He's looking out for a, uh... He's looking for another Speedmaster man on the moon. So, uh... You know, you would have had your money if you would have bought, sold it back to me. And uh, you wouldn't have lost a fucking cent. But uh, no, no. You want to be the big, the big man about town. Big man about town. My fucking ass. Big man about town. I don't fucking think I need you, big man. I don't fucking need you. So uh, that's all I want to say to Passion Fingers. Another deal, another venture you fucked up through your own stupidity. Okay, let's jump into viewer emails. And uh, we've got a few viewer emails in here. We've got one in from William Stern. And uh, William Stern, he's a cheap fuck. He's a really cheap fuck. I said to William, he sends me a question in. And uh, he's asking about expensive wristwatches. And I said to him, I said very casually... I said, uh, any chance of a small PayPal donation? A and he sent me one US cent. What a stingy prick, William Stern. And uh, let, let's, let, let's, let's give him value for money. Uh, he goes there. He says, uh, he says, my business partner and I are looking at buying matching watches to commemorate achieving a milestone at our firm. My partner suggests the following. IWC Portuguese in stainless steel, Zenith El Primo, a Jega Reverso. What are your thoughts about the above mentioned, and do you have an alternative? Yes, I do. 
for two stingy fucks like you, why don't you get a pair of Tissos? That's right. I reckon that'd be really, really cool for two stingy, mean, nasty fuckers to have a pair of Tissos. Okay, let's go into the next viewer email. And uh, I've just go through the mailbag. Tim, Tim Sharp, he's the guy who had the barbecue business. Remember those big fuck off barbecues? And uh, Tim, Tim, let me know how that's going there. And uh, he said to me, hey, Archie, got the pens? I sold him two Mont Blancs. That was the Mont Blanc Solitaire and the Mont Blanc Two-Tone. That was the steel and the, the black resin pen. Uh, got the pens, thanks. Are you doing okay, buddy? I'm starting to get a little worried about you. Tim, it's all good. It's all good. Don't worry, Tim. It's all good news. And uh, yeah, I'm so pleased to hear you got the pens. Enjoy them in good health. And uh, tell me about the fuck off barbecue business. I'd like to hear about that. I loved that idea so uh please please uh please tell me about that the next email in is from my good friend stephen brooks now stephen brooks he's my friend from saudi arabia he's an american expat who's married to a beautiful chinese woman and he's living in saudi and uh he goes hi hi uh, archie just saw your video about the waste man management job and I feel bad about sending you the booze there from Dan Murphy's. I wish you would have told me about the problem months ago. I could have directed it to your home at the time. Those jealous mofos. I uh, hope they are happy now with some junior s subpar IT technician. Hope you're still doing good there, Arch. Take care, Stephen Brooks. P.S. The clock, that's the Cartier Exceptional Mantle Clock is exceptionally great. Thank you so much again, Stephen. Don't worry about it, man. If I hadn't have got the alcohol, I could have killed him. They just fucked me off, those people. So, uh, man, I'm more happy on my own. Look, look at it this way. I've, I'm concentrating on YouTube content. I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. And let me tell you this, Stephen. Um, I'm really, really happy really really pleased that i've uh, made the break and uh your alcohol man did that solve some i was going through fucking bad patch bad patch after bad patch so thank you very much i appreciated it so much i really loved it and uh, if there's any other viewers out there i'm running a bit dry so uh if you want to buy some alcohol i like dan murphy's because they're an australian uh, based company so you don't need to ship it from from overseas and pay hideous shipping charges and then it gets snagged in customs because it's alcohol you can order it from dan murphy's nearest to me and i can pick it up so just email me for details and i'm happy to uh i love getting alcohol gifts because i'm too stingy to buy the good shit okay i'm too fucking stingy to buy the good shit and when it comes as a gift it's just so cool okay fuckers let's take a commercial break Jewelers on Time, they've been a long time sponsor. If you're in America and you need to buy a Rolex or a pre owned wristwatch, I recommend Jewelers on Time. If you need service work done and you're in America, Jewelers on Time. Let's take a commercial break, fuckers. We specialize here in pre owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent five thousand dollars. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box, and one or two years from now, you will keep having your five thousand dollars. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I doing what I supposed to do. It's not a question of money; it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best. You, Kenny Nguyen, Jewelers on time, and. 
There have been so many Archie Luxury Kenny Nguyen success stories. People have bought pieces from him and uh, it's, it's, he's a really top guy. So I highly recommend Kenny, Kenny Nguyen. Okay, viewer, getting back into the viewer email genre. Okay, this is from Kerr and he goes, Hi Archie, I just, I've just got a new job working for a local government organisation after finishing my education this year. Well done. I want to get a watch around the 1500 pound mark, two and a half thousand US region. I was thinking something like an Air King. What would you recommend? <clears throat> Kerr. An Air King is a great choice. I'd also maybe consider a, uh, an Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. That's the first decent watch. Uh, <clears throat> you know. I've got to be honest with you. <clears throat> if you put a little bit more in, maybe scrape into a date just 16014. <clears throat> That's, they're good buying. I reckon they're good buying. Um, nothing wrong with an Air King. That's a good piece. Good piece. A little bit small because they use a 19 mil bracelet. They're 34 mils across. But... Very good piece. Yeah, I, I don't I don't have any problems with that, Kerr. That's that's a uh, that's a very very good choice for a uh, a young man to to choose there. Okay, next one. This is from Gary. Gary, hi Archie, loving your vids to bits. Uh, good on you, Arch. In a recent video, you talked about matching your watch to your car. Well, what about a classic British motorcycle? Yes! Here's a pic of my 1974 Norton Commando 850. It's such a beautiful classic with loads of charm. What classic luxury watch would should I wear while riding this beauty? Thanks, Gary. A Norton Commando! Wowzers! Man, I, I've always been a bit of a Triumph Bonneville fan myself. But the Norton Commando 850, fuck, that's, that's a cool, cool bike. Very, very cool indeed. What would I put with that? Jesus. Jesus. I, I reckon a, uh, a 5513 plastic Submariner no date. A 1016 Explorer 1. Oh, man, I think even a vintage Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon would be cool. A steel Rolex Datejust 1601 period piece. Um, it'd have to be a sports watch because the Norton Commando is a sports bike. They were a fucking good bike in their day. That's a, they were a great bike. I'd say, I'd be going classic. I mean, British bikes are just, I mean, the Japanese slaughtered the British bike industry, but they, they the bikes have such charm. I've always been an umph man myself, and I, I know where you're coming from. And, uh... Yeah, yeah, I, I could... A bruff! A bruff! A bruff! Remember a bruff? They were the Rolls Royce of British bikes. Jesus. Ah, oh, British bikes. Man, that is so... That, that's just so cool. I, I reckon Omega Speedmaster or... Oh, 1601 Datejust... You gotta go with sports. Gotta go sports steel. That's what I reckon. Yes, what a great question there, Gary. Okay, let's take another commercial break. This time, this is a great new business. Watch Tech. If you're in Australia, Brisbane, or Sydney, Watch Tech is your solution to get your vintage or modern piece serviced. Watch Tech. From the creators of Brisbane Vintage Watches, Sydney Vintage Watches. Absolute top fuckers. Please enjoy this commercial. Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. 
And today, I'd like to promote my good friend's Watch Tech. That's right, Watch Tech, a new concept founded by the makers of Brisbane Vintage Watches. And Watch Tech is an independent service center of the highest order. And uh, traditionally, watch repair centers were in back alleyways, up staircases, you know, out of sight, out of mind, unprofessional. Well, Watch Tech takes the business of servicing and repairing your watch to a new level. And I gotta say, I like what I see. Watch Tech, an independent wristwatch service center located right in the heart of Brisbane CBD. Watch Tech. Archie Luxury highly recommends. And I got to tell you, I'm good friends with the guys at Watch Tech. Whether you are having trouble taking a bracelet off or adding a link or, you know, whether you're taking in an heirloom piece for a complete restoration and overhaul, Watch Tech are the guys to help you out. And I got to tell you, all the staff at Watch Tech have been handpicked by Ronnie and Luke, and they are enthusiasts. They are there because they love wristwatches, and they want to give friends with the same hobby the due care and respect that they deserve. And I got to tell you, if you are looking to get your piece serviced, bring it on in to Watch Tech. And uh, I'm very, very proud to be associated with Watch Tech. And uh, they also, Watch Tech also has a few pieces on display, a few vintage pieces for sale. And uh, they're, 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 they are tied together with the Brisbane Vintage Watch and Sydney Vintage Watch uh, brands. And uh, if you want, if you've got a beautiful watch, and let's be honest there. A fine wristwatch is like a fine automobile. It needs routine maintenance and repairs. And I can think of no one better than Watch Tech to take your luxury wristwatch or even, even your heirloom pieces too. And uh, it's not just high-end Patex, Audemars Piguet, Vacherons, Rolexes, Jager Lecoultres, Breguets that Watch Tech takes care of. They can also look after Seikos, Amigas, Tag Heuers, and uh, many other brands. So the good guys at Watch Tech not only look at luxury prestige watches, but they are able to work on watches of all calibers. And I will tell you this now, the prices that Watch Tech charges is very, very reasonable. They do a lot of work that the big names don't touch. They do restoration work, they do a multitude of brands, and the quality of work achieved by these people is true craftsmanship of the first order. I'm Archie Luxury, and I'm very proud to be associated with Watch Tech. Nice one, Archie. You tell those fuckers. Thank you, Watch Tech. And uh, I highly recommend them. Highly recommend. Now, I wanted to tell you, if you're getting something serviced to watch tech, there may be a few autograph pics of Archie Luxury. So please, please tell them Archie sent you and you may nab a free autograph pic. Okay, now, viewer emails. Okay, let's go... Back in there, we've got an email from Frodo, Frodo Potto, sorry, from Russ. G'day, Russ! Hi, Arch, I'm Russ from the Philippines, and I'm a big fan of your channel. Would you be considering to get another Patek in your collection? What do you think of the Nautilus lineup of Patek? Any calibre reference number? Thank you, best regards, Russ. Ah, Russ, I tell you this now. All those Pateks are beautiful. I love the Calatrava. I love the complications, the grand complications. The Nautilus, the Aquanauts. They're really fucking cool. 
I've got the Calatrava at the moment, and uh, I got to be honest with you, Russ. My uh, I I'm I'm even considering selling the Calatrava. Bit of downsizing, bit of economic realism, and I'd always consider another Patek. Of course, however, they are delicate, and for me. If I wanted a sports lineup, I'm more likely to go with Rolex. I really love this bluesy I'm wearing here. Would I go Patek? I love Patek. Patek is so great. I'm unfortunately, due to financial reasons, possibly not going to be adding one for a little while. And I love them. I love them. But you've got to know your sort of limits. And uh, in my case there, it's hard to say this, but I think it might be shooting a little bit more than I should be spending. So, possibly not, but that's not to say there's anything wrong with the Patek Sports lineup. I'd love them. I love the 5711 Nautilus. I love them all. I love them all. I... I, I I love the Nautilus chronograph. That's a cool fuck off piece there. There's so many. I love the Nautilus. I, I, I'm in love with the Nautilus series, but financial situation being what it is, you just can't. You just can't buy everything. And uh, speaking of not buying everything, I've now working full time making content. And if there's any viewers out there who've, who are really wealthy, you know, and they haven't donated. If you've donated, you know, just don't, don't keep throwing me money just because I'm desperate, you know. I mean, there's a lot of other fuckers out there who should be throwing in a few, a few fucking casino chips. So, what I'm saying is, if you haven't donated and you're really well off, consider flicking me a few bucks. And uh, I'd really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. You can send it via PayPal. The details are in the description. Or I'll give you my bank details if you uh, contact me. And uh, i got to tell you, I just want to say a really big thank you to uh, a, a really cool fan. And that was a um, really cool fan who sent me $100, which, which he's already sent me 150 in the past. He's just fucking cool. And uh, that's Mr. Coglin. And I just want to say thanks. Thank you so much. And uh, I, I do appreciate it. I needed that money. So uh, anyone else who's super loaded, keep me in mind. I'm available, by the way. The consultancy business hasn't kicked off real well. So if you need someone and you're in the Brisbane area, let me know. If you're in Bangkok too, I, I, I come to Bangkok all the time. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you Fuckers, think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great to see another viewer email. Hello, my name is Jessica, and I'm a huge Archie Luxury fan. I absolutely love the Archie Luxury channel. Archie is just so cool and so funny. Archie, you actually remind me of my rich uncle who was later arrested on fraud charges. Uh, I also think that Archie is, you know, rather cute. If you like overweight, middle-aged, lower middle-class white guys with four children. I'm so proud that Archie Luxury has over 5 million YouTube views. That is amazing considering the number of shitty slideshows that Full produced in the early days. Jokes aside, I really love the Archie Luxury character and I'm proud to promote the channel. Thank you Archie for making me laugh and smile every day of my life. I'm also just so happy that you finally got a job after working for those mean assholes at KBR. Waste management seems to fit you like a glove. I also really love your wife's watch collection. That Patek Philippe 24 has my name written all over it. I also really love your Louis Vuitton stack of hard case suitcases. Um, so, question. Any chance you could send me a few? <laughs> Thank you, Archie. Um, and, you know, oh, fuck you, Volkswagen.
we specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get a pre-owned watch, it's like if you get in a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.